Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today Home Assistant Hardwired Part 7 Best Practice for RS485 Wiring and Multiple Devices Setup So this is a simple setup We have a controller as a client and in extension as a, as a server So they connected via RS485 bus using two terminals one is A, one is B, so A you connect to A, B to con you connect to B. Sometimes you may have, instead of A and B, you may have plus and minus. So usually A is plus, B is minus. If you set up like this and still doesn't work, you can switch it around. Don't worry, it shouldn't happen anything. You shouldn't damage the device if it's around. So next thing um, if you have multiple devices connected in daisy chain means if you want one more device say here for example then you just connect it from this device a, b and a to next one and then to next one that's called daisy chain wiring don't connect next next device from directly from the controller or in our case we will be using our USB stick, not the controller. So, um, if we have a couple of devices, like three or four, then the last one, we're supposed to put a resistor, terminal, end of line terminal resistor, between those two. So, the resistor will be 120 ohms. In the, um, these extensions have a future which you can enable end of line resistor is this switch if you flip it to on position you will have end of line resistor enable so you don't have to use the separate resistor resistor sorry um, when you run the cable you're supposed to use a correct cable as well so the best cable what they recommend is a Belden 3106A with 100, 120 ohm characteristic impedance but this cable is probably awkward to get and also expensive so you can use a normal Ethernet cable they recommend if you use Ethernet cable use a blue, blue and white pair for the data and one of the other conductors for the ground, if you need the ground. Uh, the ground, say, sometimes you may have three terminals, not two, like on those UniPy extensions. Call it ground. Don't miss, that's not a ground connector like uh, on your power supply, for example. Never connect this GND to the power supply, ground. This GND, they call it is for reference only for bus. So if you have three terminals extension, use all three. If you have just two like this one, just use two. If you have, for example, first extension just two, and then the next one three, so still run that ground cable from the stick to here, then terminate together, don't connect it on this anywhere, and to next one, so you got that GND connector on the next device. Also, you have to remember, if you connect a couple of the units, devices, on the same bus, they must have all the same settings, like baud rate, stop bits, data bits, and parity. They all must have the same, all those settings, but the uh, the device ID must be different for everyone. You can't use the same ID for two devices. So if you're using extension like this, you can flip the switches. So they all got the different. If you use like, for example, our temperature and humidity sensor, you can just press the register ID num with the ID, set different ID. Also, if you run the cable, 
uh, make sure it's away from the other cables like power line cables sockets cables or lighting cable um, also you can use screen net cable but they say screen net cable uh, it will reduce the maximum distance for communication i think you should bravo because maximum distance for rs485 with baud rate 9600 is 1200 meters so if you run the cable up to, uh, say in the house 20 meters it doesn't really matter but just to make aware if you screen the cables it may reduce the, the maximum distance so let's go to node red I'm using the flow from the last video so we got temperature acquisition board for eight one wire sensors we have temperature and humidity sensor and we got electricity meter they all on the same bus connected and set up so I can read the values we got temperature from one wire sensors we got temperature and humidity and we got electricity meter readings as well so looks like they work just fine now but basically if you're gonna be setting up you won't do that you won't click every time you will probably like to use uh, setup so it's read the value say for example every second so what we can do i can change the settings into every second it will repeat inject node every second and then i hook up to this one to this one clear deploy What you can see, it should read every second. And what's happened? Sometimes read every second, but sometimes kind of stuck. It doesn't really read every second. I think, I'm not sure why it does that. It's like too many information going through at one moment, I think. So what we can do, I can put, use this node, will delay the message 30 milliseconds say so now if this inject node injects true it will go straight to the temperature eight way temperature sensor board then it will get delay 30 milliseconds to get to the temperature humidity sensor and then delay again 30 milliseconds to get to the electricity meter so let's see what's happened next and now it's working as i expect just reads all the values at every second practically looks to me like this is the problem with it's trying to in inject and read all the messages at once like the bus gets too busy this is how i understand i'm not sure 100 percent to be honest so this is the way to do it if you got a couple of devices what i'm gonna do next this is i'm i'm using 
Wow, I almost forgot. When you're setting up, this is a. Uh, we're using TCP gate now because I have it connected as from previous video. So, how we set up TCP as in previous video? No, no unit ID here, but unit ID here. So, what will be happened if I connect directly to USB stick? I will just uh, pause the video and change the wiring so I have it connected to USB stick and I will be come back shortly. Hello again. I changed the Modbus TCP gate for USB stick as you can see. Also I add Modbus read node which inject every second. So as you can see it's lost connection completely. We can't read at all. Um, I used this nodes on Modbus TCP gate and actually it's working just doesn't read every second sometimes stuck for a few seconds sometimes read every second so uh, that's why I didn't show I trying to show you this kind of configuration with Mod Modbus read node on the USB stick because this is a significant difference so basically it doesn't read at all so let me remove these notes. Deploy. So let me try to inject separate. All okay. So I'm not gonna try to hook up those again. What I will try to use this kind of setup with 30 mean 30 millisecond delay and let's see what's gonna happen then so it's stuck again it doesn't read every second so what I will try as well, change the settings from 30 milliseconds to say 100, just give a bigger gap. and all works fine sometimes you may it's good idea if something wasn't working you have connection problem it's good idea to unplug your usb stick and plug it back in after a few seconds that may help as well and deploy it again so i think that's all for today's video I hope you enjoy and see you in next video.